It is the first game of the day in the Sun Belt Conference. It might also be the most important. There you see Neil Brown in his fourth season at Troy. A lot of people think he might be the hottest young coach in the group of five. He has turned the Trojans into giant killers with wins the last two years over LSU and Nebraska. They'll fake it and run the option. High pitch to Jabir Daughtry Fry. He's got a first down for Troy. Push out of bounds around the 30 for a gain of 15 yards, and that'll move the chains on their first series. Some for the number two picker in the league, right behind Tyler Bass from Georgia Southern. Kick from the 35. It is up, it is good, and we get started with a field goal. Troy knocks it down. Host the Sun Belt Championship game here on December 1st. New first down. Looks like the option. Wurtz will throw to the near side. It's hauled in by Fields. He's inside the 20, and he's going to go all the way down to the five-yard line. Brown goes in motion. Wurtz rolling on play action. Back in the end zone. Touchdown, Ellis Richardson. And the tight end has his first touchdown of the year. Underwood puts this one in the air. Kennedy from inside his own 15. They're going to let that one bounce. And Georgia Southern's going to be pinned inside their own 10-yard line. Settled for a field goal on their first drive. That ball is on the ground. It's a scoop. Will it be a score? No. Ball down to the 30-yard line. And Kendrick Duncan was the one that came up with it for the Eagles. Like you said, Danny, a chance to score here in the final two minutes of the first quarter. Richardson, the motion man. Play action. Same play. It's Fields. It's going to work again. Inbounds down to the one-yard line before he's pushed out. Wurtz under center. On second down. Play action. It's the same play and the same result. Two first quarter touchdowns from Shy Wurtz to the senior tight end, Ellis Richardson. Smith goes under center on second down and swings it out to Luke Whittemore. It looks like he's going to try to throw downfield, and he will. Goes back the other way. Complete pass to Trey Eford. He's got a first down and is up to the 22 yard line. He's got a quick pass here. Sweep to Davis. He's going to throw it back the other way. It's the Philly special. The quarterback, Smith, is inside the five-yard line. They pick up the first down and the second time this drive, they've attempted some kind of receiver pass. So first and goal inside the five for the Trojans. Hand off to Eford, tries to get the edge, and he will get it. Touchdown, Troy. It's a five-point game, and it's Eford's third touchdown of the season. Here comes the pressure. Smith goes way downfield to Whittemore. He hauls it in past the 40-yard line in a gain of 40 yards on the play. Whittemore all season long heading into this game had only six catches for 51 yards. But there you see Smith comfortable in the pocket, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Vildor couldn't get a proper handleman on Whittemore. And a great catch to get him out of pressure. Yeah, don't forget he completed a pass on fourth down two. They'll go back to Whittemore again. And again he hauls it in inside the southern 20-yard line. They go back to the well. That's back-to-back -back plays. Kendall Vildor got burned. That's the first time this year that's happened. First down and goal. B.J. Smith dives forward. He got into the end zone, and Troy takes the lead. They were down 14-3, and what a response. A 13-0 run for the Trojan offense. Southern brings one man on the edge. Back behind the defense. He's got Willis. And he holds it in inside the 25-yard line. What a time for the number one receiver in the Sun Belt Conference to haul in his first pass. The various bar near the man in motion. Wurtz looking downfield, steps up, and he's going to go down again. And Barker gets him for the sack. His second take down behind the line of scrimmage on this opening series. 
Can he redeem himself? That one flies through, and that turns into a six-point lead for Troy. The stats may say what they what they are, but this is a great Eagle team. Yeah, Smith downfield, great connection for a gain of about 20 yards that time. It's hauled in by Sidney Davis. Second and long, Smith play action for the end zone. It's Whittemore, touchdown Troy. And the Trojans are beginning to pull away here in the third quarter. Smith saw it, he was able to beat Freeman. And the Trojans are going to go for the two point conversion. A little trickery here. Here comes Jameer Daughtry Fry, he will throw for two. And it's good, hauled in by Damian Willis, his third catch of the day. Second down and seven to begin the fourth quarter. Swing it off to Jabir Dotry Fry. He's got a great block from one of his receivers, and he scoots down inside the 35. Soros Smith's had a heck of a game as quarterback. He goes over the middle and hits Damian Willis. Number one receiver in the Sun Belt Conference is down inside the 10 yard line, and Danny, he started slow. He's starting to heat up. Pressure off the edge. Up the middle to Smith. And he's going to seal this win for the Trojans in the beginning of the fourth quarter. We were just saying how B.J. Smith has largely been limited today, Danny. Of course, he would be the one to put this game on ice. Hard run by Monte Garrett. That's the only run this afternoon. Wirtz on the option keeper, inside the five, and Georgia Southern is alive with a response touchdown. Oh, big linebacker, a big defensive end coming around the corner. Wow. It's Barker, was that his third sack of the day? I know he has at least one, that could be his second. Nobody picked up the defensive end. Wow. Steps up, goes down at the 48 and a loss of five yards. Another late sack by this Troy defense. Yeah, Sawyer Smith comes off a 317 yard performance last week. Turns in one nearly 300 yards today and takes Troy to a 35-21 win over Georgia Southern. And Neil Brown continues a pretty tremendous history on the road. The Trojans have now won seven straight conference road games. Making now 32-0, win leading into the fourth quarter. Able to get the job done, and now they they win out. All roads will lead the boot North Carolina against Appalachian State. Yeah, we are looking forward to that game on November 24th.